damn excited about this video. You have no idea. I mean, you probably do because I am, I feel like one of the biggest Glossier fangirls. I just, I freaking love Glossier, okay? <laughs> and uh, I made a purchase when Glossier Play was released because that's what you do. <laughs> you just buy stuff. I got it, but then, what? That was, so, that was so quick. Glossier shipping has come a long way. It's incredible. It comes from, where does it come from? New Jersey? Wow. I'm amazed. But uh, yeah, let's open it up. I could not be more hyped. I did not get that cellophane thing because I guess that was for the press release. Instead, I just got the regular pink bags, which I love. I use them for everything. I have a collection of them, so what? And uh, we got a new sticker. This is the Glossier Play sticker. Ah, uh, this is gonna be the most biased Glossier review ever, but what were you expecting? Like, seriously, what were you expecting? Let's open it up. I got a ton of shit in this bag. We have the vinyl lip and also the color slide. Color slide is their Oh my god, why am I blanking out? They're eyeliners, and this is not the first time the Glossier has released an eyeliner, but it is a much different eyeliner. So back in 2016, little Glossier history for you, Glossier released a limited edition, <laughs> limited edition um, holiday set. And in that holiday set was this guy, which is the number one pencil. It only came in one shade because it was a, a pre-made set. I would say kind of like a charcoal kind of glittery eyeliner. It looks like this. You would pull the little smudger end and uh, you would get a little sharpener. But this was the original Glossier eyeliner. I personally liked it. Was it the most long wearing? No. But it was a nice eyeliner. But these eyeliner pencils, they're very different. Holy crap, I'm dropping everything. First of all, the box is really cool, I think. <laughs> I think the whole packaging for Glossier Play is amazing. It's so 1970s. Uh, I don't know. I just really like it. It's so fun. Oh my god. Okay, so. Come out. Dang it. Okay. Uh, this is a little excessive, but it also comes in this little cellophane thing that makes it look like it's a tampon. I don't know why. It's a little too much. And, uh kind of wasteful oh my god i opened my favorite one okay i was so excited about this color <laughs> i love mustard shades so much so when i saw this i was like that was the first color that i added this is in the shade holy crap where's the shade nectar nectar which is like a mustard yellow shade it is beautiful so obviously very very different eyeliners very different. This is a twist up. This is a pencil. Very similar um, material to like the Urban Decay ones. So yeah, let's watch it. Let's watch it. Oh my. <laughs> it is. Oh my god, it's a true mustard yellow. All right, so now that the eyeliner has dried, it like it won't come off like this shit is budge proof wow i couldn't be impressed this is amazing so i didn't get every single shade honestly i should have actually i got a lot of them <laughs> i just didn't I, I don't think i got the like the regular boring shades but the colorful shades i was just like give me all of them and thankfully, I had enough Glossier credits from like my original Glossier video, the review, the best and worst. That video took off so much. That was like, oh my god, that was such a long time ago. It took off to the point <laughs> that I was just in disbelief. And uh, Glossier had to put a limit to how many credits I could be given. Like they sent me an email, like a personalized email telling me like, Yo, your video gained so much traction that we had to put a limit, but don't worry, you can keep the credit. And um, yeah, that's why you get every single release. That point aside, I got all of these. All of these color slide 
pencils. I can't even hold them because it's hard. And let's just include the one that I opened. All of these. So, yeah, all the colorful ones. <laughs> Look at how much waste I've made. And this is just one glossy fangirl. And I haven't even opened every single product yet. So I hope Glossier gets rid of these. These are super unnecessary. Uh, I just, they're gonna end up in the trash. At least these you can recycle, cause cardboard. But these, yeah, Glossier. Let's just not do that. <laughs> so now that I unwrapped every single eyeliner, this is how they look like. So they're so pretty. I only grabbed the shades that were truly unique, so black, brown, stuff like that that I know that I have in from other brands I didn't get. It would be kind of pointless. So the colorful, unique shades, those are the ones that I picked up. I'm going to be swatching all of them and uh, I won't be talking because if I do, this video will be forever long. So enjoy the music and enjoy the swatches. I think this is the most beautiful assortment of eyeliners that I've ever seen. All of them were very smooth. The only one that's a little bit patchy is this navy blue that is called Adult Swim. So this one, I don't know if you can see, it's a little bit patchy. But the rest, I'm dropping more shit, sorry. But the rest are actually really, really pretty. Glossy Play does have lip products as well. I only got two because I was a good girl, but I might get more if I like the formula. So these are the Vinylic Lip High Shine Lacquer. They look like this. I liked the colors a lot. <laughs> but once again, I decided to get shades that were a little bit more unique. All right, so this is the packaging for the Vinylic. Vinylic? Oh my God, I'm like second guessing myself. This is how they look like. So it is a push up type of applicator with a little fluffy end. I don't know who, I know I had a product that was like this in the past. I don't know if it was from Avon or Revlon or s some other brand, but this type of packaging looks very nostalgic to me. Like I know I had a lip product that had this very same like fluffy applicator that had to like either twist up or click up. Uh, if you had it, let me know in the comments because I'm blanking out. So I got two shades. I got Casino, which is a, an orange. And it just reminded me of the Holiday Sidewinder song, Casino, Casino, which um, if you follow me on Instagram story, you know that I saw her open for Alex Cameron. Random fact, but if you want to hear the song, I'll link it down below. And then I also got the shade Disco. Wow, this is totally like her aesthetic. This is Disco, which is kind of like a brick color. I like the fact that they have the little color on the bottom. This is how Disco looks like. Oh my God, this is so satisfying. This is so satisfying. You have no idea. Oh, this is nice. Ooh, this is gorgeous. This is so nice. So they're both quite similar. They're both warmer, kind of reddish colors. But this is Casino. This is Disco. We also do have new highlighters in Glossy 8 Play. These are the Nightshine Highlighter Concentrate. I got two shades. There's two other shades, but they're um, for much deeper complexions. So I didn't get them. It would be kind of pointless to show them on such a light skin tone like mine. So I got these two, aka for the pale girls. <laughs> At first when I saw these, I thought they were going to be nail polishes, but nope, they're little highlighters. 
they look like nail polishes. Actually, the packaging is quite cute. So the first shade, which is the palest one, this one's in the color Pale Pearl. <laughs> and it looks like a pale pearl. Wow, accurate. It has a little doe foot, which is completely, it's not a traditional doe foot, so it's the circumference. <laughs> Oh my god, it's completely even. It's not flat like a lip doe foot, but um, should make it interesting. So you can sort of see it. It is quite pale. Really does <laughs> blend in with my skin tone, but it does reflect light really nicely. Platinum Rose. For some reason I thought it had the E, the accent. Platinum Rose. I was like, oh, fancy. But no, Platinum Rose. So it is rosier, but still quite light. Sort of see the difference right there. This is Platinum Rose. This is Pale Pearl. I also picked up the accessories. This is the sharpener, which is called the Blade. Uh, I just wanted it because it looked really pretty. Oh, so this is to like sharpen it? What is this? This is just a piece of plastic. Oh my god, this is so pretty. It looks very old school. Oh, this is so smooth German engineering at its finest <laughs> I also picked up the detailer which is a silicone precision multi-tool it's made to go with their glitters and you know now I love glitter because there's a bunch of companies making glitter gels and it makes life so much easier so it looks like this just a like an angled brush but instead of being a brush it's made out of silicone so this is a traditional angled brush this is the silicone one quite flexible i've never actually applied uh glitter with a silicone brush but i'm very curious all right now for the piece de resistance the star of the show the glitters i'm so excited about these so we have a gold a bronze a silver and another silver wait Oh my god, these all change according to what glitter it is. Well, I mean, all the packaging did that, but I just noticed it with the glitters because it's sparkly. Wow, attention to detail. I'm so excited. You have no idea. So this first one is called Glass Bonsai. The next color is called Firewalk. I will say that the Glossy A gels have chunkier glitters overall and a little bit of a color actually so this is how firewalk looks like so it does have a slight translucent sheen so the next one is called bijou bijou which looked a lot more silver on the packaging but actually looks a little bit more of a like an antique gold almost so this is how Bijou Bijou looks like. So I feel like it looks like a pale gold when compared to Glass Bonsai. The last one is called Phantasm. And it kind of reminds me of Disco Lady from Colourpop. So this is Disco Lady from Colourpop. This is Phantasm. Very similar, actually. I think the Disco Lady particles are a little bit bigger. But it's that iridescent kind of hollow-ish glitter. Oh my god, you can't even see Phantasm. This is Phantasm. <laughs> so yeah, Disco Lady is a billion times better. I know since I will get questions, this on my right <laughs> is the ColourPop Glitterly Obsessed Glitters. These are $8. These are the new ColourPop Glitters. And uh, they're $16, I believe. I will put it on the screen. This contains... 0.10 ounces of, okay I see the ounces here 0.53 ounces for the ColourPop so obviously ColourPop is a much better deal than the glossy glitter gelée but um yeah I had to try these out you know compare them okay so these are gonna be a little bit difficult especially these two because they're so clear so we have Phantasm up here and we have Disco Lady on the bottom so very very similar I would honestly just go for Disco Lady over here we have one that is not an exact dupe so we have Star Party which is um, more of a true silver 
So star party right here. And then this one is the color pop glitter. I'm not color pop. <laughs> the Glossier Glitter Gelée in Bijou Bijou. So not exact dupes, but it's the closest thing that I have. Then these ones are not exact dupes either, but it's the closest one that I have. I kind of feel like ColourPop might have something that's sim more similar on their website, but I just don't have it. So the Glossier Glitter Gelée is in Starwalk. So it's this one, the more coppery shade. This one's from ColourPop. This one's in the shade She Lit, which is a lot more red, not as coppery or bronzy. And finally, we have the gold. So uh, the color, oh my god, I'm getting them confused. The Glossier Glitter Gelée is in the shade Glass Bonsai, which is more, a little bit more lime greeny. Yeah, it has a little bit of lime green, goldish shade. This is the color pop one in the shade Outside the Lines, which is more of a yellow gold. So there we have it. If you don't want to spend the money on the Glossier ones, I do really recommend the color pop Glitterly Obsessed. That was such a tongue twister. <laughs> And I'm not going to walk you through this tutorial because I know this video is already super long, excessively long. So enjoy the music and enjoy the tutorial. And at the very end, I'll give you my, my final thoughts on uh, Glossy Play. All right, so this is the finished look, and I'm just gonna wrap wrap it up real quick because <laughs> this is probably one of the longest videos. I really like the eyeliners. I was a little underwhelmed with Nectar, but it might have been because I was wearing mascara already, so it wasn't the easiest to apply. And just like yellow markers, it was grabbing onto the black, and then it was getting really hard to get the true color. So I'm gonna have to try this out another time but I think it looks cool I just want to see more of it so I think it was my bad but the other shades were really easy to apply very smooth they look really cool I think I kind of went a little bit overboard with my look but it's glossy play you can play there's no rules so I did use two of the glitters they look really cool the applicator I actually really liked because um it means less glitters on my fingers this would also be good for the ColourPop glitters. I mean, any glitter, but I really liked it. I did not expect to like the highlighter as much as I do. I think these are beautiful, both the Pale Pearl as well as the, was it Platinum Rosé? Yeah, 
Platinum Rose, sorry. <laughs> Trying to make everything French. They're beautiful. I use Platinum Rose in my inner corner and I think it's my favorite thing about this look other than the lip. It's really, really pretty. Much more dramatic than the Halo Scope. And I know I didn't do a swatch comparison but I am wearing the Topaz Halo Scope as my bronzer. So you can see it's much more sheer, more natural looking when compared to the concentrate. So Halo Scope, concentrate. So there's that. Really like them, both of them. They're so, so nice. The applicator makes it so easy. You just do a little, a few dots here and there and uh, just diffuse. I really, really like the highlighter. I did not expect them. Like, I like highlighter, but I'm not, I wouldn't consider myself a complete like highlighter connoisseur or fanatic but highlighters are super super nice the vinyl like lip which is quite hard to say uh applied super well it's shiny it's moisturizing not thick not sticky not uncomfortable feeling um definitely a good lip lacquer formula really like it i think i will actually get the more like subtle shades the one that katie jane hughes used looked so pretty it was like kind of like that rosy color so i think i will get that for sure really really nice but i just don't know how it will wear if it will feather so i will leave a comment and i'll pin it so you can see how it wear i'll give you a little update yeah it looks really nice i don't know if i touched up on the glitters but they're really pretty but glo uh, glossy Colourpop definitely has something very similar, the, the Glitterly Obsessed, which are half the price. You get more product, so I would actually skip out on the glitters. I love Glossier, but honestly, the Colourpop glitters are where it's at. Uh, I would recommend this guy, though. <laughs> get this. Get Colourpop glitters, though. I didn't use the sharpener because it was a little bit pointless, but it did sharpen quite smoothly, so there's that. But yeah. I think if I were to recommend products, even with my first impression, I would definitely go for the eyeliners. Colors are very cool, very unique. I know I definitely haven't seen a mustard yellow eyeliner before. They apply really well. They remind me a lot of the old Lancome, the Drama Liquid, Drama Liquid pencils that I think they discontinued. So very, very similar. I would recommend these for sure. The highlighters, I would definitely, definitely recommend if you have light, fair to light skin tones. Either shade will look really nice. It just depends if you want both of them or if you you just want a more neutral highlighter, go with Pale Pearl. If you want more of a rosy highlighter, you can go with Platinum Rose. Both of them are really nice. Really, really like them. The Vinylic Lip. First impression, I really like it. I love an orange, so if you love an orange, Casino is definitely a cool shade to check out. But we shall see how it wears. I will be getting the more subtle shade, like I said. Glitter, skip. So that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching it. If you stuck around till the end, let me know in the comments below what you'll be picking out from the Glossier Play Collection. I'm super, super curious to know what you guys are excited about. If you're brand new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe to see brand new videos from me. I will definitely be doing more tutorials featuring Glossier Play and more like talk through tutorial or at least at least a voiceover so stay tuned for that and uh yeah hope to enjoy the video i'm still super excited this is such an exciting launch for me because it does encourage you to be more to be more creative to have fun not think of all the makeup rules that you see on blogs and magazines so i'm super hyped on this but you already know i'm a glossy hoe so <laughs> with that i'm leaving bye